Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer tea, pop culture, and housewives, honey, I got you covered. Grab a snack, grab a drink, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be super, super grateful. And you guys, we need to talk because did Lisa Rinna literally just like freaking confirm that she's out of the freaking housewives? So listen, bitch, um, according to how.me.you on Instagram, uh, Lisa Rinna blocked them and actually wrote them and said, I'm so sorry, I have to block you now. I can't see any more housewife stuff. I think you're the greatest. I just have to get it out of my life. Girl, did, is this, uh, what's her name? Lisa Rinna confirming that she's out of the damn housewives? Honey, I think so. I think so. Listen, with that, with deleting all traces of housewife, with saying I was Lisa fucking Rinna before and I will be Lisa, Lisa fucking Rinna after housewives, girl, that is confirmation. But you know what? Let me tell you something though. I'm wondering how this reunion is gonna be because imagine, imagine you are already fired, right? Imagine like we're like normal people, right? And we're fired from our job and then they're like, oh, but you have to come to the next, like um, you have to come to the last like group meeting or like work meeting. How the fuck are you gonna act there? You know what I mean? So imagine Lisa Rinna, she's like, okay, there it could be two things. One, one option, she could be thinking, okay, you know what? Let me try and like salvage this because anyways, I don't wanna close any doors. Like I have to like, you know, I wanna continue to work on TV, so maybe I'm not gonna close anything. And then you have the other route that's her saying, Fuck this shit. I'm not, I don't give a damn about anything. I'm just gonna like go in there and I'm already out anyway. So this is what I this is what I've always wanted to say. This is what I will say. I don't give a damn about any rules, bravo rules, whatever, bravo, bravo, bravo. I'm just gonna go all the way off. That is what I think is gonna happen, to be very honest. Although, listen, Lisa Rinna now she has a wine to promote. She's always trying to sell something. She's always on QVC, she's on HSN, all those damn sweaters that she uh that she sells, and now she's selling the the wine. Um, I'm actually gonna tell my husband, I think it'd be really fun. I thought about this. Um, if you guys don't know the real Andrew Beverly Hills, he's my hubby, and I think I'm gonna tell him if we can do a video together, basically trying Rinna wine. So I wanna see, first of all, I mean, if it's like 20 bucks, okay, bitch, but I'm not gonna put $50 on Lisa Rinna. I just think it'd be really funny to like, you know, try it out and like be as little, you know, be like a, a wine, um, what's it called, a wine sommelier, what is it, what the fuck is that called? You know, where they shook the wine and the, you know, all that shit. Yeah, no, bitch, I, I don't know much about wine, but I just think it'd be really funny. If my messy ass is over here, like criticizing Lisa Rinna wine. Anywho, um, listen, if this is true, I really truly believe this is, she's out. Like she's, she's out, she is totally out. And I do also believe that Diana Jenkins has to be out as well. And like I mentioned in my video yesterday, I really feel like if Lisa Rinna is out, this is gonna give a lot more room for others to come back or other like um, groups to form. Um, I'm so excited. I was, listen, I never want anyone to lose their job. I never want anyone to lose a check, but I have to tell you, Lisa Rinna is insufferable. I can't with Lisa Rinna on TV. Like, I, there's just something about her that I just feel so, it's coming off. And I feel for her because here's the thing. Like I said before, Lisa Rinna, she still has not been able to get over her you know, days of our lives bit. You know what I mean? She has not been able to get over it. I feel like she thinks her life is a soap opera. And that is why I feel like also a lot of people don't connect with her because there's no authenticness from her. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, and I just, honestly, I think it's just like, Lisa Rinna, I feel, was doing everything in her power to like, get in every scene, get in everyone's problems, 
but she doesn't really open up about herself that much. She doesn't really open up about, you know, her home life and, you know, that much. And like, of course, I understand Harry Hamlin is her husband. You know, he's an, a famous actor. Like, he, you know, you don't want to mess up the, his, his, um, his business, right? But I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I think it's time to close the door on Lisa Rinna. I think it is definitely time to close the door on Diana Jenkins. Um, now that the reunion is going to be filmed any day now, that means that the show is almost going to end, which means that we will find out who is in the new season because obviously they're going to start filming pretty soon. So it's like a lot of Real Housewife drama and I'm so here for it. I love the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It's one of my favorite um, franchises, but I have to say that this season just has been such a tough season to watch. It just, it just, it, you know what? You know when you watch The Housewives, you want to feel good. You want to laugh. You want to also be in the drama. you be like, oh, girl, did she say that shit? You know, with binoculars. You want to, like, be involved in it. But, like, this, for me, this season has just given me, actually, it's giving me, giving, uh, don't be tardy for the party. It's giving me a lot of anxiety. No, but, like, for real. And I just have not enjoyed, I have not enjoyed seeing Erica Jane under the influence screaming at a 14 year old. I have not enjoyed Diana Jenkins being so cruel. I have not enjoyed Lisa Rinna. I, you know, I thought that we would see another side of her, but I just, I haven't seen anything. And my God, I, I'm sorry, but I cannot get over when they were in that party uh, where um, Melissa Etheridge came out and um, Lisa Rinna just literally out of nowhere started like yelling. Like, I was just like, oh my God, you are so staged. Like, stop being so stagey and just be real, you know? Like, nobody does that. I'm so sorry. Like, nobody fucking does that. And like, it, at the restaurant telling Sutton, like, girl, no, we're good. And then uh, the next day say, no, we're not good. Get out of my house. Like, I just honestly feel like I get it. It's like the Hunger Games. They're always fighting for the spotlight. So I get that. But I'm just like, girl. Like, you have to also think it's not just who gets the bigger boom, it's also who's likable. Like, for example, if you guys watch Atlanta, this this season that just ended, Kenya, Kenya, which I, I get a lot of people don't like her, but Kenya was so incredibly charming, in my opinion, this season. She was funny, she was having a great time, and she was still involved in the drama. And that is what the housewives should do. They should understand that, yes, we need to be involved in drama. We need to do all of that stuff. But we also have to be fun and likable because the audience at the end of the day is going to choose whether you stay here or not. Because if it was not for the backlash, you, you probably would have still had another season, Lisa Rinna. But I think it's so important not to go with the flow. But also don't be so out of the flow like Crystal. You know what I mean? It's sort of like Kathy Hilton in her first season. Like, her quirkiness got everybody obsessed with her. But I just feel like in order to be a housewife, like a successful housewife, you have to bring the drama, but the likeness, but also the goofiness and also the realness. So like, for example, a good, good example of this, I mean, sometimes she goes way too far, but Giselle from Potomac. Like, Giselle is super likable, but also kind of so mean to Karen and to, you know, to whatever. And so I think like, you could like you could be likable still be in the drama and still be a fan favorite you know and lisa Renna just fails to do that shit so it's sort of like dorinda in the girls trip like you we saw a different we saw the same of this of the last season of new york when she was on the same angry the same and you're like oh but you were so likable and now we cannot get past this you know what i mean Anyways, bitch, what do you guys think of Lisa Rinna possibly not returning? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.